Welcome guys, in this video we will do a structural analysis on a structure where you can use stress. I am using ANSYS workbench for this analysis. Let's open the ANSYS workbench. As we are interested in doing a structural analysis, we have to go to this static structural analysis system and drag that into the workbench. Now the first thing we need to do is we have to check the materials available. Here by default there will be structural steel. The properties of general structural steel will be available there as default. If you want to change the properties, you can change. And if you want to have any standard materials like aluminium and all, you can go to the engineering data sources and you can go to general materials and you can take from that. You can add to that for, for our analysis. So as of now, it's not necessary. So let's proceed with the structural steel and go to the geometry. For creating geometry, ANSYS Workbench offers two design creating softwares. They are Space Claim and Design Modeler. I am going with the Design Modeler. Space Claim is also a, one of a wonderful softwares, which is very user friendly, but it needs some practice to use it. I am creating a geometry in XY plane. I am clicking that XY plane and create and clicking that sketching. And now we are ready to sketch and before that let's keep the plane normal to us and as we are creating a structure which is having about a length of 20 feet I am changing this units to feet and I am creating a rectangle now this is 10 feet so I have to create approximately double the length of this scale so that I will get 20 feet and I am giving dimension as 20 feet and I am interested in having an arbitrary thickness of 3 inches so I am going to units and I am changing that to inches V2 should be 3 inches Okay, then we have to create triangular structure so for that I am creating a geometry of a rectangle with uh, three points okay, I am repeating the same on the other side and I need to give the dimensions here let's have the same thickness of three inches here And instead of giving that uh, dimension everywhere, you can give uh, one more thing, we can go to constraints and you can go to the equal length constraint and you click the first line and then click the another line. So that will be constrained as equal dimension and this should be in center. So I am going to dimensions and give horizontal dimensioning from this reference line to this center that should be exactly half of that so that will be in feet that is 10 feet so that it will be in center and then i would like to close these things so i am creating a horizontal line over here and in the modify i am trimming out all these two lines Similarly here and now I need to have a surface contact here. There is only a line contact So I need to change that into a surface contact so that that will be the real case of welding. I'm trying to extend this rectangle up to some more distance Okay, after drawing this rectangle you can draw a line from here To here and then we can trim out the portion which are not required In similar way, I am drawing a rectangle here. And extending this line. And trimming out the unwanted portion.
So let's try to extrude that. Before that, change uh, units to inches so that we can extrude that for three inches. So now we have got the geometry of that structure without any truss element. Let's go to the analysis phase. Now let's close this and open the model. Here we need to provide the boundary conditions and the constraints that we are having in our physical problem. As we are assuming this as a roof for any building, so we need to give a vertical force as a self weight of the sheets over that or any structure over that so we have to give forces forces over these structures okay now i am selecting these top faces all these three faces and now i'm giving a force towards the downward side so after selecting all these three phases by clicking the control button pressed and also we have to ensure to have this surface selection phase selection a filter so if you don't have face selection filter you cannot select the face the edges will be selected so you have to ensure that the face selection is enabled and click all these three faces by holding the control button pressed on and then you can right click this and insert and give a force so since due to gravity the weight will be acting on the negative y direction so we can go to this components we need to have the force only in this y component that is the vertical component so let's have that as 100 newton that is a negative direction i'm giving this force just as an arbitrary force the arbitrary value that may vary it depends on the uh, it depends on the material which is laid over that and the thickness of that material and everything comprises this thing now we have defined the force which is acting over that structure and in most of the cases we will have a vertical support of this thing so let's assume uh, these this base is supported over a rigid support where it cannot displace but in, in some cases it may, may be true in some case it may not be true just for a demonstration purpose i am uh, defining that as a fixed support so now we have given just a vertical force over these three phases and we have given this particular base as a fixed support and i think this is enough for a very basic analysis and then you can go to the solution we need to have the solutions of deformation that is very essential so that we can understand how long it is getting deformed so that whether it is acceptable or not and then the next thing we generally need to know is the stress that is equivalent one mesh stress so that will tell about the equivalent stresses acting over that structure if you want you can give the element size so just create a mesh by the default size so here you can see the mesh size is not uh, very fine so here we are having some 20 feet of length so it's i am giving mesh size as 5 centimeters Okay, now I am seeing some better mesh so as for us a demonstration purpose this is okay and I am moving ahead then do, go to the solution and click the solve okay after solving you can see the deformation of that this is the total deformation you can see uh, the structure is deformed to a maximum extent that means it seems that it is uh, deformed to a very high uh, magnitude but this is not the case actually because this is actually an exaggerated view of that so you can use that auto scale you can change that auto scale to true scale so this is actually the true scale uh, this is how the uh, member will deform actually but for our visualization purpose we can have some exaggerated views so that you can get where the deformation is taking place exactly so you can also use that as undeformed and you can see there is no uh, big change from the undeformed and true scale so this is actually the undeformed shape and if you go to the true scale you can also uh, you cannot observe any physical deflection by our naked eyes so that means the deflection is very uh, very less and, so, and also you can see the maximum deformation that is around 0 0.001 
so 0.001 in centimeters so 0.001 centimeter is actually a very small value so the load that we have given is 100 newtons so that 100 newton is very less for that and it can uh, this member can bear that weight being with a very very small deformation so if you want to have a deep analysis we can go for factor of safety and the materials properties and so on but, but this is just for a demonstration now let's move ahead to have a truss member in between that so for that i'm closing this model and the very good thing in ansys workbench is you can duplicate any analysis what you have did so i am now duplicating that okay this is the duplicate of that analysis that we have done so now go to the same geometry and change the geometry by having some by adding some support elements like truss here so go to the sketch what we have drawn first and go to sketching and just create an arbitrary sketch like this this is actually called as a how truss so just try to simulate that Okay, now we have created this uh, geometry with some trial and error method and I will also share this geometry with my in my website you can download that if you need and then we will go to the next step that is you need not to do the rest of the things again and again just go to the model and that will the geometry will be updated in the mesh okay now we can see the change what we have made in the geometry is incorporated here and also the settings what we have given in the previous case is retained so the same type of mesh will be generated with the new structure and also uh, the forces that we have given will also remain the same but anyhow we need to check that now it's uh, it has been applied correctly on these three surfaces and also the fixed support is given in the same surface there's no problem with that so just you can go to the solution and you can update that solution and solve that okay now we can see the results in the previous case we have seen there is a drastic deformation here so by using this truss it has been reduced and also you can observe the magnitude of this deflection so here we can see the magnitude is very very less because that is 6 into 10 to the power of minus 5 that is a, a very small value of deflection or deformation uh, so by having this type of truss elements we can reduce the deformation and also the stress So I hope this tutorial will be helpful to you and if you need any suggestion or if you need any guidance in this You can reach me out at any time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel MechTechs